Uh, this is ILG VH10, uh, the last topic, uh, Tama, Lab 5. Uh, we will introduce uh, general purpose Tama and system tech. And uh, we, will, we try to understand the uh, overhead of the subroutine or envelope. Then our last example is use try color LED to show uh, the PWM function. Of course, you should uh, read the lab manual before you start the experiments. Now, your board, if your board is version 1, then uh, we will use the PC678 in the large part, the PWN, then the one pin here. One pin here. Okay, then if your board is version 3, then uh, the one pin here. Okay. Uh, the front page is the front page of um, the data sheet. Then uh, this CPU has uh, 11 uh, timers, then uh, 4 general purpose timer, okay, 16 bit. And uh, we'll use the SysTech timer, 24 bit. Then our other timer is special for the PWM, uh, for Watchdog and uh, some basic timer, but uh, we'll try uh, gen genetic, uh, general purpose timer and the system take timer only. Now, uh, sometimes people call this timer, sometimes call counter, then what different? Uh, I think the same. Now, uh, counter, if you count the periodic signal, for example, you count one millisecond, then 1,000 pounds equal to one second. Okay, then uh, if you can count the power zero is one second, then uh, six power is equal to one minute. So then it's time, you can say this timer or counter. Then actually actually you load the time, okay, same as the uh, our gas or you or same as the clock. The watch, you know what time is it. Then uh, actually, um, if you want to know what time is it, then you should use the real time clock, another special timer. Um, if you can't ev evacuate the pulse, then uh, you, you can know lump up the pulse. It's very simple. Uh, Tama or Kanta in the microprocessor is a hardware, then I would say it is expensive. Uh, if you can't zero is slow, then you should not use Tama, okay? Uh, now, Tama and Kanta depend on uh, the function you can't the periodic or uh, irregular pulse. Okay, then um, Tama normally will combine the interrupt to use, then, then can get the fast response. Um, if you count the signal, is slow. Very less, uh, this, the pulse is very slow. For example, uh, you want to low MTR, the yeah, number of people use MTR gate, then uh, means that maybe uh, two or three seconds they will trigger the gauge once. So is this very, very slow zero? You should use the simple method, GPIO, use a polling, or use a input up, uh, pass a variable. Okay, this is very slow. But if the frequency or the, uh, the pulse frequency is the period is very, very high, then uh, of course you can use the uh, input up. But you have to think um, for input up, then you have to jump to input up and return, then it will take time. So uh, I want minimum around 10 uh, machine cycle. So if the frequency is very, very high, then uh, this is not efficiency. Then uh, we'll talk about this overhead of the, of the, uh, of the interrupt. Then uh, at this moment, you should use a counter, use a hardware counter. The hardware counter uh, can respond fast as far as the machine cycle of your CPU. Our CPU made it uh, 20, 72 megahertz, then actually it can count 72 megahertz zero. Now, last part then, uh, we were interested on the overhead. Okay, then uh, you load this one, then you have to consider the, the time for the critical jobs. Um, this CPU, uh, 103, then I uh, have uh, two advanced timer, Tama 1 and Tama 8, then uh, 4 general purpose Tama, we will use this. Uh, Tama 2v4, this is 16 bit. Uh, 2v4, 5. Um, another is a 2 basic Tama, uh, 
Timer 6 and 7 16 bit. And two watch timer, uh, window watch and night watch. Then uh, another timer we will try is the uh, tick timer. This is uh, very simple and 24 bit timer. So um, the menu will say this is 11 timer. Um, real time clock. Real time clock. Uh, in this CPU, we will not become the counter. This uh, actually real time clock is like a watch. You can ask this processor what time is it. Very simple function. Mm. Our experiment uh, 5.1 to 5.5 is essential. Okay, understand what's the timer. Then uh, 5.6 and 7 is the Peter Bam exercise. But uh, you know what's the in, uh, Peter Bam today? Because Peter Bam is very uh, popular or hit topic today. Uh, normally Peter Bam uh, is used to control the power. Then today, uh, for example, you control the motor speed. In a general car motor speed, then you have to use Peter Bam. Okay. Uh, Efficient. The problem is efficient, and you can uh you control the lighting. Then you change the color of the LED. Then you uh, use the Peter Bam. Okay. Then um, why timer is is important? Okay. Then now today uh very hit topic is IoT. Then uh when you make the IoT device. Maybe you want uh, a battery can operate uh, your device more than years. How to do that? Okay, of course. Then uh, you have to use a low power processor, right? But it's not enough. Um, then your processor can be go to sleep mode or deep sleep mode. Okay. Then if you 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 your use a sleep mode or deep sleep mode, then uh, actually then you have to use a karma plus interrupt to Complete the task. Now, um, then the CPU operation, normal operation, maybe 100 milliamp. Okay, then uh, so you only turn on the essential part, same as uh, our lab one to lab four. Then uh, when you use a GPIO port A, you turn on the port A only, right? Same. Then you can reduce the power, only operate essential part, maybe 10 milliamp. Uh, but if your CPU can go to sleep mode, or deep sleep mode, maybe operate power is by code N. Okay? Of course, in the deep, deep sleep mode or sleep mode, then uh, actually uh, your processor will don't have any calculation power, right? Cannot do anything, just sleep. Then uh, just sleep and keep the minimum requirement, keep the timer on, keep the real time timer, real time clock on. And the clock will uh, operate very, very low speed to save power. Then, uh, when the time time up, then will trigger the or interrupt the alarm. Will wake up your CPU, and then your CPU will go to normal operation, and uh, do the essential process and go to sleep again. So, uh, your poison will sleep a long time and just activate as very very short time. Then this is why a battery can operate uh, the device uh, more than a year. Um, this ambient system. So ambient system, you you can remember ambient system. We don't have uh, operating system. Okay. So in this time, you just do this as simple as pos uh, possible. If you have the operating system. Operation system in your in your device, then uh, this is not embedded system because uh, operating system may may do a lot of things. For example, you enjoy, then you have to boot up or do something. It's impossible. You cannot make the device operate uh, a battery for a year. Okay, general purpose timer. Now. Uh, general purpose timer in this time will separate or will separate to the two part. This architecture of the general purpose timer. The first part, the green, is the common, the timer, uh, common function of timer, and uh, the yellow part, the output channel. Uh, this CPU uh, one timer can operate four channel. Uh, we will try this one. Okay, then uh, mainly let us understand the. Uh, Common part of the timer. Now, 
Now the uh, 5.1 experiment 5.1 then we will do the um, time of fee we use time of fee use auto reload function and generate interrupt and control the LED DS0 okay now this is the given program uh, this part is initial okay initial then actually uh, we'll turn we'll select the source turn on the timer set the trigger condition set, uh, set the p scaler and set the reload uh, number then uh, we we'll start the count okay reload number we will use the reload function and start the counter when the counter overflow then we will uh, turn the speed and generate interrupt general interrupt request it's very simple now actually we will use this part okay the scaler uh, set the below number and uh, then the counter. The counter will generate the output and and this time I will generate the interrupt. Um, the timer here there's uh, call three in uh, lab two call three. Okay, timer here. General purpose timer we will use seventy two megahertz. Then you trace back. Then we will use the system call is seventy two megahertz. So uh, check the Lab two, how to delete the code three, and uh, remember we will use a uh, timer. So turn on the timer. Now this part interesting. Um, the given program five point one, okay, control DS zero. This is the main program, okay. Do some setup, and uh, we will initial so uh, the timer timer fee, okay. This is handler. When general interrupt with handler, uh, actually just uh, very simple. Turn on uh, toggle. Toggle the GPIO. Okay, toggle the LED. Now the interesting point here. This is main program. Where well, one you can see the program inside. Nothing. You can see the main program. Do nothing. Okay. Now compared to here. The main program do nothing, so everything in interrupt handler. Now this is the reason or the method to operate a, a device with a battery more than a year. Then you can see the main program do nothing. Okay, everything in the in the interrupt controller. I just said interrupt handler. But sorry, uh, interrupt handler. Okay, here very interesting point. Uh, do nothing. Okay, then now, uh, experiment five point two. Uh, give you uh, five point one. Okay, then you uh, duplicate and modify the program. Control another timer. Timer four. Auto reload. Use the interrupt function. Control an LED. LED. Okay, that means that uh, two timer work independently. Okay. Then overhead. Now overhead, then uh, when the program jump to subroutine or handler, then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take time to overhead. Um, for time critical job, then you have to consider overhead. Okay, uh, I will explain more. Um, remember, in the handler, it's as simple as possible. Okay, as short as possible. Okay, all long critical job, then move out from the handler. Okay, keep the critical job in inside the handler only. This is uh, use a uh, interrupt. The basic concept, basic concept for interrupt. Okay. Um. Now five point three. Then we'll show you a uh, direct modified address. This is actually this is the last one I uh, told you that. Now this handler in this program. Okay. Uh, handler or not is not important. Uh, we'll have three portion. Portion one use a BRR and BSSR. Portion two use uh, exclusive or portion three use uh, an eco and or eco. Okay, then uh, just toggle the LED. Very simple. But if you use the oscilloscope to measure the result, then you can see the portion one is very very fast. Portion two is slow. Portion three is slow. Okay. Uh, the speed is compared to speed is three times. So I will I will say uh, use. Uh, BRR and BSSR is a fast three times compared to three times. 
uh, if you use an uh, oscilloscope to measure this one, then uh, you have to set the uh, the resolution or the accuracy to 10 nanosecond. Then uh, we'll get the results like this. Um, when you try to measure the time, it's not uh, uh, accurate. This is problem because um, our processor is 70 megahertz means each machine cycle is 14 nanosecond. So the compare the result with a step is 14 nanosecond. Okay. Um, but I think you cannot use oscilloscope this time. Uh, so you you can trust me and uh, well maybe skip this part. Uh, Warren will will announce uh, this how to skip this part. Okay. Now, uh, how to measure the pulse, the width? Uh, this is uh, electronic cost. Okay. Now the pulse width compared to this is not is not the same. But remember, uh, this resolution, resolution problem, okay? 10 dollars a second. Uh, you will want to measure the pulse, then use the 50% uh, means that half of inch this, half of this measure the time between this, okay? This is a uh, basic electronic, uh, how to measure the pulse width. Now, um you can see this part use exclusive or and this part use an equal or equal. Uh in C language we you use different command. But uh actually the result are the same. Then if you want to know uh the result then you should uh read the machine code, the com compile the machine code, the result machine code. Okay? Don't don't trust the C language. Uh, if you want to do this without a uh, oscilloscope, then you can use the simulation function in Q. Uh, I introduced the lab one, lab zero. Okay, uh, you can turn on the simulation. Then uh, I I want I I want to introduce simulation, but we found that the simulation result is not hundred percent compared to hardware is not hundred percent same. So we skip this part. Okay, uh, but simulation just uh, you for reference only okay don't actually it's not a, a real hardware so we use the real point real hardware and uh, long accurate this is real now then uh, actually we uh, five of V we are interesting no want to know the, uh, the overhead Go to the program and go back. Uh, go to the subroutine and go back to the subroutine. We want to understand the overhead, but uh, we don't have oscilloscope there. I think you have to skip this part. Okay, the overhead. Now, uh, the overhead. Then uh, the portion of program if you repeat using this, then you will use uh, put it in the subroutine. Okay. Then we co just call something. Then uh, in PC, then you just call the function fine, well, easy. But uh, if you do embedded system, sometimes you have to consider the overhead. Compare your program. Then uh, maybe this is critical. Now, why is it critical? Then, uh, for example, your main program you draw call a function, function one, call function two. Then if your main you uh, this call the function. Uh, one is 100 times, and when the function will call function two 100 times, uh, for example, in a loop, you have a loop to do 100 times, then uh, the overhead may be 1,000, 10,000, or 100,000. Okay, then in this time, you have to consider uh, the overhead. Uh, so if you do the uh, communication program, then uh, sometimes then we I when I call the function, then I I, I will drop packet, drop the packet, or uh, uh, crash this uh, the slow down the the system. Then at this time you have to consider the overhead. Oh, this part is is tech. 
What is the stake? The stake is very simple uh, counter, this 24 bit, only count the coxilo. Okay? Then uh, select the coxilo, enable it, set the below number. Then when the counter co go over full, will uh, trigger and uh, make the interrupt. This is take interrupt trigger, okay? Then we will set uh, this is take is the 10 millisecond. Um, why is 10 millisecond? If your embedded system can respond, uh, respond uh, I say the respond, respond within 10 millisecond, then you can call this as real time system, okay? Um, this part may be a lot important then uh, because this take other than uh, dif uh, difference of other counter this is related to the uh, system call so uh, sometimes with uh, system call right uh, the number is 8 okay compared to this uh, maybe the synchronization problem um, to set the sys take you have to set the VLO number and the uh, control register very simple, we low number, uh, slash source enable, very, very simple. Okay, then uh, I say you keep the handle as simple as possible. Then when you use system, now I, I, will, I will do just one simple task. Uh, make the counter, heartbeat counter plus one. Okay, this is uh, in the handle now. Then uh, this is in the main. When the heartbeat, when the counter uh, equal uh, more or equal than eleven, then we'll uh, do something. Okay. So uh, put other tasks out of the handler uh, in the main program. Now, uh, in experiment five point uh, one five point two, we use two timer to uh, drive two LED. But uh, if you just stick uh, this take then actually we use one timer, simple timer system. Then uh, we can use increase the heartbeat, okay? And depend the heartbeat to do other things. Then actually I can do five tasks. You can see I can do more than one task. Use one timer, okay? And you can see the number, or the, 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 the timer, the period of uh, each task is uh, independent. And I use it now. I see it's a prime value. So if you, you try to use LCM HCF to solve this problem, it's impossible. But now it's very simple. If when I use system one timer uh, to do, I can make many many tasks all are uh, in independently. But the resolution is uh, limited to the ten millisecond. I said I said the system the ten millisecond. So uh, the resolution ten millisecond. Okay. Ah, then now, if you want to use a global variable, then uh, maybe you set the variable in main program. Then in other uh, library file, then you have to use extern to keep it extern. Means that uh, will this variable will refer to another file. So if you forget this one, then with then uh, the habits in uh h and the main dot c is not different okay maybe two actually the two variables then if you want to use one share to one variable you have to use extern the keyword uh this take the main function of this this take is uh, actually do the multitask want to do multitask okay but i cannot i can we cannot uh, show how to do the multi uh, Multitask in the real real method using uh, Cetec. Now after left five, do not use the delay again. Okay, do not no do not use delay. Um, five point six is PWM. Then uh, we will use the driver the LED. Okay, uh, what's the PWM? This pulse width modulation. Use the pulse width width. This is modulation. Zero. Okay. Uh, then we will say this is make big ratio. Now this is make. This is uh break. It's compare this is make big ratio. Okay. This is make. This is break. Big big ratio. 
the ratio of the between the make and break. Ah, uh, if the square way means the make equal to break, so we will call this as a fifty percent make ratio fifty percent. Then you can uh change the ratio. Then you can actually change the energy or the power. Okay, efficient energy or power. So you can use this energy to drive the motor or LED or something like that. Now, uh, set the PWM. This gives you program. You need the PWM. Okay. Then uh, we'll use the the counter value. Con now we will, uh, at this time, we will not use the general the interrupt. Then we'll uh, control this part. Then control the output, uh, drive make or drive the back. Output 1 or output 0. Okay. Then uh, the given program, I will set the 100, 100 hertz. Then you have modified it to 150 hertz. Um, then the given program. Okay. Then try uh, when you do this, you can observe observe the uh, LED result and compare the program. Then understand the how what the program does. Now um, the output pin, the default pin is here. Then we will remap, we try to remap function, remap the output pin to here. Then we will use PC6, PC7, and PC8 to drive uh, free LED. Now, then, uh, how to drive free LED, okay? Uh, use the PWM. Then, um, you can use 250 level. To try the L, uh, L, V LED, RGB LED, then actually we can make the uh, 60 mega color. Now, uh, we'll give you the LED, then uh, a few pin, uh, mainly you know which one is uh, green, the ground, ground pin, okay? Then actually we want to drive V LED, like this, uh, PC6, 7, and 8, and drive the, try like it. Uh, on your board, then PC six seven eight zero. Now you have to load. Where is the ground pin? Then uh now uh, drive V channel. We will use a V channel. Okay, use one timer. Drive V channel. Use uh uh remap the pin to PC six seven eight. Then uh you can drive the LED with a million color. Okay. Now our experiment uh, post procedure four. We want to do this: uh, red, yellow, drive the LED red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, red again, loop again. And procedure five. We want to do this: uh, black, uh, red to black. Uh, inside is white, so this is black. Okay, black, yellow, green, a uh, green, a uh, yellow, black, green, black, cyan, black, something like that. Okay. That's all.